The Power of Awareness by Neville Goddard Chapter 9 Preparing Your Place And all mine are thine, and thine are mine. Thrust in thy sickle and reap, for the time is come for thee to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. All is yours. Do not go seeking for that which you are. Appropriate it, claim it, assume it. Everything depends upon your concept of yourself. That which you do not claim as true of yourself cannot be realized by you. The promise is, Whosoever hath, to him it shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken away even that which he seemeth to have. Hold fast in your imagination to all that is lovely and of good rapport, for the lovely and the good are essential in your life if it is to be worth while. Assume it. You do this by imagining that you already are what you want to be, and already have what you want to have. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Be still and know that you are that which you desire to be, and you will never have to search for it. In spite of your appearance of freedom of action, you obey, as everything else does, the law of assumption. Whatever you may think of the question of free will, the truth is your experiences throughout your life are determined by your assumptions whether conscious or unconscious. An assumption builds a bridge of incidents that lead inevitably to the fulfillment of itself. Man believes the future to be the natural development of the past, but the law of assumption clearly shows that this is not the case. Your assumption places you psychologically where you are not physically, then your senses pull you back from where you were psychologically to where you are physically. It is these psychological forward motions that produce your physical forward motions in time. Precognition permeates all the scriptures of the world. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. And now I have told you before it came to pass that when it comes to pass, you might believe. The I in this quotation is your imagination, which goes into the future, into one of the many mansions. Mansion is the state desired, telling of an event before it occurs physically, is simply feeling yourself into the state desired until it has the tone of reality. You go and prepare a place for yourself by imagining yourself into the feeling of your wish fulfilled. Then, you speed from the state of the wish fulfilled, where you have not been physically, but to where you were physically a moment ago. Then, with an irresistible forward movement, you move forward across a series of events to the physical realization of your wish, that where you have been in imagination, there you will be in the flesh also. Unto the place from whence the rivers come, thither they return again.